Lego, what are you doing? Why are you making a video about this? You're such a clickbaity YouTuber, man. I'm unsubbing, unsubscribing, unliking, redoing everything that I've ever done to invest any emotion into your channel. And to that I say, buddy, it's my show. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna talk about things that pop up, and I'm not gonna go out there and make things up myself. That is very clear. I've never gone out there and directly said, oh, this is what I think should happen, or this is a proposal I'm making. No, there's a reason we're talking about this, and it's a very strange one. Let's go over on to this article here on HabsETLNH.com. Now, the reason I said it like that is because I don't know what that actually means. Habs A L on Ash, that's what it means? Yes, Habs and the NHL.com. There we go. I just had to transcribe that in my head right here. Take a look at this article that was posted on February 7th. It's Norman Flynn of RDS Sports who proposes a Canadians and Devils trade involving Cole Caulfield. Oh boy. Yeah, I kind of had the same reaction that you had when you clicked on this video or when you saw this title and thumbnail than when I looked at this article for the first time. So, we're going over this piece right here, and I'm going to take a look at it. It's talking about the Sick Podcast, hosted by Tony Marinaro, who is indeed a TSN 690 radio host in Montreal. Several experts have taken turns at the microphone in recent weeks to give their opinions and also discuss hot issues concerning the Habs. Take a look at this right here. This is the tweet. The Sick Podcast, it's a Tony Marinaro thing where he's like, yeah... Tony answers all your Habs questions. This is the Brunchin with Tony Marinaro segment number 13 from February 6. As we said, Norman Flynn, RDS guy, former player, he went over onto this show and he had himself a proposal that he made. Take a look at this. Flynn offered a trade with the New Jersey Devils that would send the young American forward Cole Caulfield along with a first round pick in return for Nico Hishier the first ever pick in the 2017 draft. The teammate of Jack Hughes and that bringing two players together could be a profitable strategy for the Devils. Now, that's just all the next sentence here says, so I'm reading that verbatim. Despite a difficult rookie season, we shouldn't throw in the towel too quickly for Caulfield because he has a good time in the playoffs last year, yada, yada, yada. So that is what the article goes out there and says. It defends Cole Caulfield and it says that there should not be a trade for him. Flynn also discussed the case of two other Canadians, forwards Drew Ann and Hoffman, and he wasn't complimentary to them, saying that they're more add-ons to a winning team and that Kent Hughes wouldn't get much in return from those two players. So, this is our idea right here. Norman Flynn, on a podcast, goes out there and suggests the idea of Cole Caulfield in a first for Nico Hishier. Now, all New Jersey, Montreal things aside, because yesterday these two teams did play, and yesterday New Jersey did smoke the ever-living crap out of the Montreal Canadiens. It's pitiful how bad they are this season. But, come on, I get it, the Canadiens, you could say they have a need for centers, but is this really the move you need to go out there and make? Is Christian Dvorak that bad that you're going to have to give up Caulfield in a first to get his year? Furthermore, is... This team that bad that you need to add on another center, and you can't just trade away a Christian Dvorak in a package that improves your center core. Like, you need to add on another guy. You can't just upgrade one of the guys you already have. The Canadians are in such a delirious state of losing and losing that now we have NHL media people going out there suggesting crazy trades like this. Cole Caulfield in a first for his year? Are you serious? Like, okay, it would be cool for New Jersey fans to go out there and see Cole Caulfield suit up along his best friend Jack Hughes and play in the same way that they did with the NTGP back in 2018-19. That'd be cool. They broke records together. They had a whole bunch of highlights. They played on the same line. Jack Hughes went out there and said, hey, part of the reason why I had so many assists is because I played with Caulfield. And the connection there certainly was very, very strong. And so... Yeah, I could understand that Devils fans would want Caulfield, and they would want a first, but, like, Montreal would never do this. Are you serious? Montreal's not going to go out there and trade away a first-round pick in a year where they're so gosh-darn bad alongside of Cole Caulfield for Nico Hishier, of all things. I could understand if you're trying to propose a trade for McDavid, or trade for a Lafreniere, or trade for Austin Matthews, but... 
We've spoken about this in the past, but the caliber of first overall picks has kind of waned over the past few seasons. Lafreniere, sure, he's supposed to be better. McDavid, Matthews were fantastic, but then you take a look at what happened immediately afterwards. Nico Hischer was not even supposed to be the first overall guy in many people's minds at the date of the draft. Like, some people still had Nolan Patrick as that first overall guy. And Nico Hischer, I mean, no disrespect to Nico, I respect the work that he does, and I think he's going to be a great player, but... He's 23 years old. He's on pace for, what, 52 points this season? Fun fact, his 26 points in 41 games played, 10 goals, 16 assists. Do the math on this over 82 games. He is on pace for 20 goals, 32 assists, 52 points, as I said. That's the exact same amount of production that he had in his rookie year in 2017-18. 52 points, 82 games played on the dot. It's exactly the same, except with a few more penalty minutes now and a minus 7 rating rather than a plus 10, which he would have been on pace for a minus 14 if you do math, because math works that way if you multiply out the negatives and makes for some very bad results. But still, Nico Hischier is not the answer for the Canadians, and they're not going to trade away a first in a year where they're so bad. This first overall pick could potentially be Shane Wright. It could potentially be a Matthew Savoy. It could potentially be a center that the Habs could benefit from and take. Depending on what Kent Hughes does with the Canadiens' first-round pick in 2022, this could be seen as a pretty good year to kick off his entire tenure. This could be seen as the year that, okay, he started off the rebuild and he drafted Savoy or he drafted a Brad Lambert or he drafted a Joachim Kemmel, he drafted that Shane Wright. This is the time to go out there and start stockpiling picks, not trading them away. Trading away Cole Caulfield and giving up on this guy after all the hype Montreal had about this player would be absolutely embarrassing, to say the least. Now, I'll give props to the website over here, HabsAndNHL.com, who went out here and defended Caulfield and said, yeah, why would we trade this guy? Like, we should stay around with the course, wait for him to develop. He's only played his rookie season. He was so good in the playoffs last year in his rookie minus one year. So one performance like this in a year where everybody on the team has been playing poorly, it's not on him. He's not going to get traded. He's an untouchable on this roster. Same with Nick Suzuki. And if you're trading away a Caulfield, it certainly isn't going to be in a package with a first for a player like Nico Hischier. I'm sorry. Now, I'll end off this video here by saying this. I kind of want to sympathize with New Jersey for a little bit. Sure, Nico is your captain, and sure, Nico is worth a whole bunch to you. But when it comes to long-term potential and what things should be worth, you know when you play the NHL video games and you try franchise mode or GM mode and you have a team that is really bad, like bottom of the league bad, Montreal is kind of in that territory right now, right? When you see these teams that are that bad, their first round picks, which are probably going to be somewhere in the top three, top four-ish, they're always worth so much in the video game. They're worth more than any other asset that is in the game, pretty much, aside from, of course, like Connor McDavid and all that. So that's kind of how I view everything going down here. Cole Caulfield still has a boatload of potential. He's still got a whole bunch of value because he's young and he's upcoming and he's probably got the best seasons of his career ahead of him rather than last season. And then you have Nico Hischier, who is, albeit a good NHL player, but he's not on the caliber of what that first overall pick the Montreal could get should bring. Because, like, come on, if it's Shane Wright, would you rather have Shane Wright or Nico Hischier heading into the long-term future? Like, I'd rather go with Wright, and the timeline of everything works out a lot more in Montreal's favor if they go with that Wright instead of Hishier. He's five years younger, there's a lot more time to adjust, and there's an ELC period, too, that the Canadians are going to be able to work with. And if you really want to turn things around quickly, all it takes is a few trades of some older, expiring guys, and you maybe bring on some younger players, you use some extra cap to sign guys, and you go along your way. Okay, I admit, that might be a tad unrealistic in today's climate, and I guess that might have been an indicator that I play way too much franchise and or GM mode. Haven't actually touched it this year, to be honest. I've mostly been on the season mode and hockey ultimate team train, so yeah, there's my NHL gaming experience summed up in a sentence, I guess. But talk to me in the comments, what do you think about Norman Flynn and his entire proposal over here? Caulfield and a first for his year. Ugh, that's disgusting, man. Talk to me in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this British Irish Rolls 99. And bye. <laughs>